Mars was so distant, but now that we have reached the planet, it seems to be part of us. This is only the first look at one of our sister planets. Although Elon Musk's SpaceX is known throughout the world as a leading pioneer in the growing space race and one of the most important businesses when it comes to interstellar travel, there's still a lot of mystery surrounding it. What are its end goals? When will they be achieved? Does SpaceX really plan to send humans to Mars and even start colonization there? Perhaps one of the most confounding things about SpaceX to most people is the issue of how its entire system works. People have heard terms like Starship and Falcon 9, but they don't really grasp the specific details of them. You can't blame anyone for not comprehending how these things work and why they function and what their true purposes are. There is a lot of nuance and subtleties about SpaceX that people don't understand, especially when it comes to its state-of-the-art vehicles. So let's take a good hard look at Starship and the super heavy booster that powers it. Together, these two creations are the linchpins behind everything that SpaceX is working on. Without Starship and Super Heavy, SpaceX is just running on hopes and dreams. Yes, it is these two revolutionary inventions that will propel the company forward, up into the stars, and possibly all the way to a trillion dollar valuation. Just the names alone, Starship and Super Heavy, sound like something out of a sci-fi movie. Sure enough, they are steeped in a serious level of science that will make most heads spin. But at the end of the day, the concept behind these two endeavors are quite straightforward and easy to grasp. Essentially, Starship is a fully reusable spacecraft that can be launched into orbit and will carry about 100 people and tons and tons of supplies far beyond Earth. In fact, Musk plans that the Starship will be the vehicle that's going to land and launch from the surface of the red planet Mars. As for the Super Heavy, that is the rocket that Starship will sit atop. It's going to be filled with over 3,400 tons of cryogenic metalox and will be powered by 28 Raptor engines that will provide the vessel with about 60 million pounds of maximum thrust. That means that the Super Heavy rocket will give Starship more power than the original NASA Apollo Moon mission rockets back in the 60s and 70s. Wow. And how's it all going to work? Well, it's a complex system, one that hasn't been attempted or accomplished by any other space agency before. The concept at the core is simple to understand. Starship will launch into space and will carry on its mission, while the massive Super Heavy booster will remain right here on Earth, ready for its next use. Launching from their Boca Chica, Texas facilities, Starship will reach epic speeds in just seconds as it climbs higher and higher into the air and aims to leave our atmosphere. After about three minutes of flight, the Super Heavy booster will then separate in mid-air and the booster is going to return back to Earth. As the Super Heavy descends down back to the ground, it will deploy what SpaceX calls grid fins, which will help steer the rocket towards the launch pad with very little damage so it's capable of being used again in the near future. The latest idea behind this launch process suggests that SpaceX is contemplating that the launch tower can actually catch the falling Super Heavy with a massive robotic arm that will grab a hold of it. Currently, SpaceX is building up the launch tower and they will soon finalize a catching or landing method. As the Super Heavy gets comfortable back on Earth, Starship will continue to race upwards, whether it's to Mars or just around the planet in orbit. The ship will be able to power itself as it makes its journey before then completing a targeted landing on the ocean next to Texas. You have likely seen videos of Starship prototypes landing on platforms in the ocean, mimicking the conclusion of any future missions. The launching and landing features of the Starship are what sets it apart from all the other ships that have come before it. In the past, NASA and other space agencies knew that their rockets were generally only good for one-time use. All of that money and time and energy, all just for one mission. Now that SpaceX is perfecting the art of reusable space tech, you can imagine all the money being saved. Millions upon millions of dollars would not be used, thanks to Starship's ability to safely land before being prepared for another journey. Watching Starship land back on Earth is quite the sight to behold. When the vehicle is preparing to land, it enters the atmosphere at a 60 degree angle before it performs what SpaceX calls a belly flop. This will have the ship descend rapidly in a horizontal position. Imagine how a skydiver looks when they're falling through the clouds, and that's what you can picture with the Starship. In fact, Musk has referred to this stage of landing as a controlled fall. Sounds pretty scary, right? As Starship gets even closer to the ground, it will have slowed down enough so that the vehicle will flip into a vertical position so that it stands up when it lands, as its Raptor engines begin to guide the ship into its final landing position. It all sounds so easy when you hear it, but you can bet that that process has some serious science behind it. As it stands now, Starship will be able to orbit around the Earth for a while, carrying 150 tons in low Earth orbit, 
without requiring any refueling. However, these plans change drastically when refueling is possible. Musk has repeatedly said that the plans are to have Starship dock or mate with another ship in space that is acting as a refueling station, and by doing that, the tanks on the Starship could be refilled and give the vehicle enough power to carry itself all the way to Mars. Any journey to Mars will be a lengthy one. It is estimated that a journey to and from the Red Planet would take up to 9 months each way. For his part, Elon Musk is planning for that journey to be a comfortable one. He's looking to install approximately 40 cabins in the ship, with each cabin possibly holding about 5 or 6 people. Each flight would hold about 100 people. What would passengers do on their ride to Mars, aside from probably do a lot of reading? Musk plans to fill the Starship with common areas for people to relax, exercise, eat and entertain themselves. And also there's going to be plenty of storage space for any cargo, as well as shelter space that will protect riders from any harmful solar storms. But before Starship can make its way to Mars, it has a few more local trips planned. However, the major question still remains. When is this amazing feat of space engineering actually going to take to the skies? It will be quite a while before Starship is zipping around Mars, but what about, I don't know, something like the moon? Musk has promised Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa a trip around the moon in 2023, only two short years away. Eight other passengers will fly with Maezawa, although Musk himself hasn't said if he'd be one of them. Shortly after the trip around the moon, SpaceX is planning to send another uncrewed flight of the Starship to Mars in 2024. So when will one of the vehicles carry humans to the Red Planet? That remains to be seen, because a lot more work has to be done. Every single step of the Starship journey, from launch to separation to refueling, and of course landing, need to be perfected. Not a single part of the process can suffer from any missteps. Every single piece of the puzzle has to work. For its part, SpaceX has been testing and retesting and testing again all of their Starship prototypes. There have been numerous launches from the South Texas launch pads, and there has been a growing number of successes coming from them. It is true that there have been many explosions and faulty landings, but even those are seen as a good thing, according to Musk anyway. Even when a ship doesn't land correctly or bursts into flames, there is much to be learned from it. Every single attempt is another chance to tweak the system a little more and get ever closer to a flawless execution of a mission. There are no mistakes in preparing Starship for flight. Both Starship and Super Heavy are something that the world has never seen before. A reusable vessel that can carry passengers and cargo from one part of the globe to another, or from this planet to one hundred of thousands of miles away. What Elon Musk and his crew of experts have been making over the years is something that was only dreamt of in science fiction novels and movies just decades ago. The fact that SpaceX is this close to delivering and making those dreams a reality is nothing short of a scientific marvel. We don't know when we'll see Starship and its Super Heavy take flight, but we do know that when we do, well, it's going to be something special.